Hi, it's Heather Smith here and um, I'm making another uh, short video on how I review my Enterprise Raza platform for um, uh, my accounting technology newsletter. Um, this is something I have to do anyway, so I just thought I'd make a, news, uh, a video um, to record what I'm doing um, so you can, maybe it helps you um, either sign up for the newsletter, which would be awesome, uh, maybe it helps you um, in, in in developing your own blog posts and thinking about who's reading them. Um, and maybe it helps you in understanding how the Raza Enterprise um, platform works. So some of the things uh, that I do touch on today in today's um, uh, recording was if you're doing a, a blog post that's time sensitive, make sure you get it out in time. Um, and for me, I'm uh, well, make sure you get it out in time. Okay. Um, I don't include blog posts that are too short. They're typically um, too short and too confusing. They don't, they don't make sense. I don't include blog posts that are too boring. Avoid boring blog post headings. Um, the visual image that you include with the blog post is important for um, attracting eyes. So work on having a nice, good visual image. Um, blog posts about staff movements are not relevant. They're not relevant for the newsletter that I'm producing. They are will be relevant for some newsletters. They will be relevant to some people. But for me, anything um, regarding a staff movement, I'm not including in the um, accounting technology newsletter. And um, typically, typically, if there's any name in there, if there's any business name in there, I'm highly likely to change it to what the person actually is. So it's actually relevant for the community reading it. So if it's Jan Smith, it's the bookkeeper uh, from Brisbane. Okay, because that gives the world reading it insight into who they are um, and where they are um, or uh, um, e-commerce specialist bookkeeper from Brisbane. So you see that that gives me a lot more information and gives me a lot more um, attraction to click through rather than Jan Smith because I don't know who she is. No one knows who she is. Um, also be wary of using acronyms, uh, using just simple letters um, that summarize something that's really, really clear to you, but may mean something completely different uh, to someone else reading it and uh, may be confusing for people who potentially would be interested but don't actually know what you're talking about. I am in the Raza Enterprise platform and I am reviewing the next set of uh, potential blog posts that will come out in uh, my next newsletter, which comes out tomorrow. So you can see here it says content for upcoming newsletter is ready for review. I'll just shut that down. Always try and get as much real estate on your screen as possible. And it says 95 articles have loaded. That's excellent. Um, that means hopefully um, a lot of interesting articles to have a look at. Um, it could mean that um, a lot have just uh, populated. Sometimes what happens is a, a, a solution just uh, drops about 30 articles on one day, um, which is a bit frustrating. Um, and I don't think it's wise for their own SEO. So if I look here, it says show only active records. And so what I'm going to click on this, I'm going to click down on that and sh let's say show all records just for this moment. And we'll say show all records. It takes a little time to uh, for that to uh, scroll through so we can see all the records. There's actually a lot of blog posts to review today. The first thing I'm actually going to do, so you can see now over here, if I circle over here, it says now 112 articles have loaded. Okay. Now, what is going to happen with these articles um, is I'm going through them because they could potentially be 
the um, uh, newsletter subject header. Um, so when you receive the email, the, the first line of that email, the email subject line could be one of these articles. So I need it to make sense um, if someone who has no idea about the solution, who has no idea about the context, will still open it. So it's kind of what I say is, is it going to, is, does the um, blog post heading make sense to someone who does not know the solution? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, uh, remove or deselect ones based on their length. If they're too small, if they're too short, it, it, it typically doesn't work. So I click here on the top on title <laughs> and it works. So you can see the arrow there. That's pretty basic. Um, and I'll just do a sort of a rough scroll down of anything that's too short. Oh, no, that's fine. A quick history of checks. That's short, but that's fine. Oh, it's annoying, frustrating seeing that pop up, isn't it? Okay, too short and the actual content of that is uh, not relevant for anyone receiving the newsletter. So too short. And I click over there to remove it. So I don't like things that are too short. Keep scrolling down. Now, it doesn't matter if you can't read it, if I'm going too fast, because this is kind of like a blur anyway. Um, that one, too short and is not relevant. Remember, this, the receivers, the subscribers, um, the recipients of the newsletter, the recipients of this could be anyone, and that's too short. They don't know who Property Me is. That, um, the newsletter, uh, the platform has automatically deselected it, which is great, um, and I would have deselected it. Uh, this one here, release notes, too short, too boring. So keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Excellent. So that's great. So oh, this one, okay, this one and, and the newsletter has deselected it. So I can go in and blacklist certain terms and it has, and, and I think I might have updated because this, I think it's probably a typical one that comes out from this, these guys. Um, which is just a generic uh, update, which is kind of boring and no one's going to click through on it. So it has deselected itself. Okay. So I'm going to pull all the way to the top again and I'm going to uh, just show active records, just show active records and I'll work my way through again. Okay, so one of the other things is if I click on source, if I go over here and click on source, we can see if um, a, a large number have come from one particular one. So clicking on source, scrolling down. Okay, so BigCommerce had a few. Oh, look at that. CheckKeeper have had loads. That's interesting, isn't it? CheckKeeper have had all of those. So that, that is interesting. Um, they've dropped all in one go. Uh, the difficulty with this one is different spellings and different, um, uh, some countries just aren't interested in checks at all. But that's okay. Um, I kind of try not to d d delete it for that reason. Um, but at least I'm now aware Let's see, um, all of these ones are best check keeping tips. See, that was just not going to be relevant for so much of the globe, but I'll keep it in there. We are open and thankful for that. Now I'm, I'm going to remove that because just on its own, that heading is um, irrelevant. Mm, I might increase the size of this. I'll look at that. I'm at 75. No wonder I'm struggling to read it. Okay, there, that's a bit easier. Um, quick history that's always something that's interesting for blog post titles a quick history and down okay so let's okay I'm I've moved past check keeper um, employment hero they've dropped a few but that's typical of employment hero and their content is normally really good uh, well done to the people at employment hero um, and Moolah have dropped a few and Moolah typically do general 
of general interest posts, so they are always worth a, a, a double check on them. Um, but yeah, those ones are okay. Uh, I think everyone would be interested in reading those ones. And let's pop back over here to the left. Released have done a few. Um, plus four days. Okay, that plus four days data that shows commercial rent, that's not going to be of interest to the general accounting community. So we've lost that one. Um, but that, however, may potentially be of interest to the general accounting community, accounting technology lover community, because they may be, well, consulting to um, that industry and thus can pick up some tips, some words to um, assist them in, in, in that, those conversations. Okay, and <laughs> these actually um, uh, came from me, and that's interesting, actually. They didn't pick up. It says it's selected by me. Um, what I did was, and I'll show you what I did, was I actually went to their blog site, um, and I'll show you, expert, uh, expert, if I go there and then click on the blog and I'll show you what happens. So I go onto the blog. So here's the blog, um, and I'll, I'll just pull one of their blog posts up. So uh, pull that one up. And I'm not going to do it, but if I click, see that R button, Raza, Raza.io, that's my Chrome button. If I click that, it will add that to my um, next set of uh, newsletters. To, uh, it will add it to be selected from the, um, the, the, the collection of uh, blog posts there. So I'll add it. I'm, see, I'm not sure whether it'll work that quickly, but I'll add it. Okay, so way behind with your bookkeeping added. <laughs> we'll have a look to see whether it comes through. Sometimes it might take a few seconds. Um, so I'm not sure if that will work. But that at least explains what I was doing, why those ones came through. Um, and uh, that they, I was actually experimenting with the Chrome extension there um, and that's why um, a few of them come through. So I was experimenting with that. And I can't, f yeah, so Zapier's had a few, but again, Zapier always does great article posts. Okay, and look at this, Zinger, you see this? Zinger always uses the same image. It's so weird. So, you know, that's another thing to, to highlight a great image helps you. And for some reason, Singer always uses that image of that lady. Um, but a great image of great visual can help get uh, readers to your article. Um, uh, interestingly enough, for my purposes um, in the newsletter, they won't actually see the image unless it's an article within the newsletter and then they'll see it. So if it's the subject heading, they won't see it. But if it is in within, within the newsletter... Uh, that's a sort of a little quirk of it, I guess. So I'm going to go to the top again and I'm going to, I'll just get rid of, see, I double click to get rid of um, the sorting there. And let's go through um, and sort by title. I don't know. It's okay. So it's sorting by title, but obviously uh, inverted commas are coming quickly. So we'll just go through. Um, and see what we like here. I wonder if I can. Oh, look, I can actually make that larger. Maybe that will make it easier for me to read. Oh, look at that. That's nicer, isn't it? Um, that has, oh, it sort of shrinks it down a bit, I guess. But uh, so you can read it. Um, Okay, so this second one here um, is a podcast and I'm going to click open on it because I never like to take the name of anyone in to the newsletter. Um, so what I'll do is no one knows the person, like I'm sure someone knows the person, but when it comes to newsletters, global newsletters, no, nah, no, nah, we don't want the person. So we'll work out. Um, she's an owner. What is she? Um, She's an, it appears to be an accountant. Oh, and she's an accountant working in New Orleans. I'm looking at this, trying to get me to subscribe. So I'm going to pop here, edit that, 
and podcast with accountant with accountant. I'm just going to take all of that out. Best practices with uh, New Orleans. So I wonder if there's anything else telling me about her. Do, do, do. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm getting there. New Orleans accountant and I'll save. Um, so at least people know location and uh, profession, which is more information than person's name and person's business name. And <laughs> completely resorted everything for me. So I'll start again. Um, okay, Founders Forward podcast. So another um, podcast. I don't exactly understand that one, Founders for I don't understand it, so I'm going to remove that one. It's a bit too convoluted. Um, this is from my own blog post, so that's a good thing um, that has come through. So I will uh, include that. Uh, that's why that's included and populated there. Okay, this one is irrelevant. This is not giving me. So this is a, um, a staff news movement. And uh, unless it is a really senior person, that's not necessarily of interest to people. Um, not interested. They're not learning about the solution from that. So I've removed that. Oh, look, that's the one I edited it before. Um, all of these. I'm going to have a look at this. I don't typically like to include things like that, but I'm just going to look at it because it sounded a bit fun. Uh, <sighs> No, I'm going to say no to that. It's not going to be relevant to accountants. Uh, Tableau is a big solution. It has some information in there that's relevant, but uh, nope, let's see there. Take back that. So you've gone. And this one, introspection and action. I'll go and read that. I'd have to change the heading there. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, very important letter about Black Lives Matters. However, mm, not necessarily um, uh, relevant here in the accounting technology newsletter or accounting technology focused newsletter. Oh, look at this. This is um, this is Blake Oliver's uh, Giraffe. Okay, so Blake Oliver does the marketing for Giraffe. Let's see what it is. Product update webinar. Uh, so what I would like to have seen there is some information about it. And learn about latest release, Giraffe's planning, reporting, dashboarding solution. Um, so I'm going to go back in here and edit it. Copy. Do, do, do. Register for our edit. Um, Giraffe, product update webinar, paste this plain text, featuring, you know, it's just not going to go in there. It's not going to, I'm not going to be able to, I just don't know enough content about it to make it interesting. Um, so what I'll do is I will, um, I'm going to pop it over there and I'll promote it. I'll promote it separately, but I'm going to remove it from there. I needed, I needed more um, outcomes. I needed more learning outcomes for it, at least three learning outcomes. Um, great, free templates. Okay, that's not relevant for accounting technology. Smart work, get the clothes. 
software and finance services for your business. I'm not really sure about that. I'll have a look, open the link. I'll have a look, see what it is. Oh, okay. Okay. This can be relevant. So i um, popping that back in. Um, so that's talking about financing. Sometimes uh, J curve is an ERP level solution and sometimes you need financing to actually adopt an ERP level solution. So it is relevant part of the conversation of that project management implementation conversation. Okay. Good one. Smart one. Inventory turnover. 18 powerful smartphone apps to help. Oh, I, I need to look at that one afterwards, won't I? That looks, sounds interesting. And those ones are always those productivity ones that people can quickly adopt. That will get a lot of click throughs. Uh, Moolah is a uh, money lending solution. So it's kind of not relevant to what it does, but um, that's why they will uh, like it. Oh, okay. Um, so this is good news. <laughs> But it's Australian news. So I'm going to open the link, but I'm going to delete it from there. I'm going to store it for later to go and possibly just drop into a piece of information somewhere else. Um, oh, great, great heading. Um, how to enrich your accounting career with strategic advising from Life Plan. Yep, visible. The difference between venture capitalists and angel investors. Excellent. And I'll probably read that too. That's a good article to read. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, spare parts control system inventory management. I wish more people would get into inventory management. Um, bookkeeping, what to choose for your business. Mm. Oh, well, that's interesting. How to, so, yes, the recipients of the newsletter probably have a detailed understanding. But by having a look at that article and having a read through that article, they may pick up um, insights, words, phrasings, et cetera, to actually attract their own clients. So it helps them articulate their proposition. And that's why I'm leaving that. Um, WooCommerce, yeah, I'm leaving that. One in four e-commerce stores. Mm, okay, that's a bit worrying. Mm-hmm. Mm, that will be a confusing title heading. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Active Collab is, but that's a confusing title heading. Great title heading for them on their blog post, but not here on our newsletter. Um, default account. Look, he does really well having this little uh, uh, newsletter, uh, blog post image with um, um, animation in it. That's pretty cool. Feature zero default pay from account. Mm, don't like it. Don't like the heading there. Okay. Oh, how often should I go to the dentist? No, we will say no to that one. Best domestic holidays on a budget. We'll say no to that one because fun, fun, fun article. Not relevant to accounting technology, people. It's okay to not be productive in time. It's okay to not be. Oh, okay. That's actually an interesting one. I'll leave that in there. <laughs> Doom scrolling. I'll leave that one in there. Um, people might like that one. Um, Square. How Eat Canali went from food truck to brick and mortar store. Well, that's interesting. Um, I think people, I would typically not include the name of a business, but Eat Canali clearly, I don't know, some sort of restauranty, Italian restauranty business that anyone in the world could work that out. So I will leave that there. Um, yep, that's interesting. Okay, so this one you've got, oh, that's a bad, that's bad, bad, bad. I'm going to pick up my pen. Don't use acronyms. So don't use acronyms that people don't necessarily know. So CCPA enforcement, I don't know what CCPA, probably uh, maybe that's from the USA, but not relevant for us. Um, payment link, the fast way to get paid by end of financial year. Um, and, okay, so look at that. The date it came out on is 30th of June. So that's a time-sensitive blog post, okay, time-sensitive. 
and it's already too late. It actually came out too late. Um, and I don't want it to go out tomorrow, which would be the third. So it's actually past the end of financial year. It probably should have come out two weeks ago. Um, okay, great. Asana tips, man. It, like that's great. Asana tips. Asana is the product name. Here are some tips. How to manage your inbox. Great. Um, Um, a lot of accountants are married. <laughs> so that's a great one for them. So I do like that one. Um, dashboard of the month, engineers and self-triaging. Okay. Mm, and these ones are okay with, okay with, okay with. How to use colors. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that before. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before, but yes. Okay, and so I should actually be, um, rather than opening them up, hovering over that thing, shouldn't I? Okay, that one's too complex for accounting accountants and bookkeepers, so I'm removing that. I'm going to, oh, see, isn't that interesting? So it got no, it got nothing in that little black area when I was trying to open it. So let's have a look at that one because I think it could just be a webinar. Oh, okay. So it's something like a, what is it? Okay, so it is an article. I don't know what's happening at the right side here. Oh, okay. Future of work talk tackles. Okay, so someone has um, given a talk and then they've done a summary to it. That's a great thing to do. Um, let's go back and just make sure that the title wasn't too confusing. So maybe um, see the future of work work would be confusing for someone who has no idea what's going on here. So how about we go edit and we go unpacking and ta tackling. How about we just go tackling, tackling tough issues for reopening. Now, for some reason, it hasn't picked up a description there. Goodness me, that's very bad for this um, poor gentleman. I'm Josh James, founder and CEO of this company. Okay, so, and I'm looking through here to which is what I want to pick up. And this is what, because that first bit, is, the first paragraph was quite empathetic, um, but didn't actually uh, let you know what's going to happen in the article for you to read through on. Because I, pe I want people to read these articles. Okay, and then, um, and so that was uh, Domo. Domo. And I've updated the post there. Oh, and you know what's going to happen? Everything's going to shuffle out, shuffle out, okay? And I'm all shuffled into a different place again. So I think I have to, um, post is updated. And remember, get my real estate back in, scroll down further. And it was, goodness, um, I don't know where it's gone. Okay, so everything, I don't know which order I'm now in. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, that's it there. That was it there. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, that's good. Um, that's good. And how to avoid preference payment traps. Excellent. So I have been through all of those. So I'm now going to scroll to the very top. And so we've pulled out a few things. We now currently are sitting on um, 78 articles. So I did pull out quite a few there. And then I'm going to click on here, uh, show in active record. So I'm going to review what has not been selected to be in the pool 
of posts that will be selected for the newsletter just to see if I've made any mistakes or something has been not included that should have been included. Businesses that thrive during lockdown. Okay, so let's see what the the, the um, black has uh, telling us that it'll pop up there. Okay, that's an interesting article. So I'm not sure why it was deselected, but I'm going to reselect that one. Okay, so they have a webinar Q&A. Um, oh, I'll, go in and op- I'll go in and open it up to see if I can reword it. Oh, that's actually a good one. Onboarding programs. What can we learn from seven killer onboarding programs? So I'm going to um, open that up one as well and reselect that one. That's a good one, Trello. I don't know why it's necessarily deselected it, but there, I'm pulling that one in. Mm. How do your customers view you? There's an app for that. Yep, we'll select that one. You can see many of these others um, were ones that I deselected. Excellent. So um, 34... Let's see now what we're at. I think um, uh, I think we've added, I think we should be up to 80 articles. So you can see that I now have 82 articles. So I now have 82 articles in my uh, pool of blog posts that can be selected. And um, of those, 15 will be selected for the um, uh, bespoke newsletters of the that are created for specifically for accounting technology. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I was a few more in, bits and pieces of information um, in the notes below the, the video, but thanks for uh, watching and listening.